to beta file the pin to taskbar and pin to start menu options appear close to the top of the menu the create shortcut option appears closer to the bottom back to contents 42 installing a database here's one very important thing you need to understand about installing a new database after you've downloaded it from the spooky2 website when you launch spooky2 it loads certain of its own support files including the database into memory this means that if you trash the database file in the Spooky2 folder and replace it with a new one, you can't access that new database inside Spooky2 until you either quit and relaunch, or tell Spooky2 to load the database into memory from the hard drive again. So there are two ways to install a new database, and which one you use depends on whether Spooky2 is running or not. If Spooky2 isn't running, download the database file and decompress it if it's the zip file. Click on the CSV file to select it, then press CTRLC on your keyboard to copy it. Now navigate to the Spooky2 folder, you know how to do this by now. You'll see the older frequencies file in the folder, and you have two choices, you can drag it into the recycle bin, then click back into the Spooky2 window and press CTRLV on the keyboard to paste the new file in. Leave the existing file where it is and just press CTRLV you'll see a dialog warning that a file named Frequencies already exists in the folder and asking how you wish to proceed. Choose Copy and Replace. Close the window and launch Spooky2. The new database will be loaded into memory and be available for immediate use. Back to Contents, 43, if Spooky2 is running, Click the database menu on Spooky2's menu bar and select Download Database. Your internet browser will launch and automatically download the file frequencies CSV from the Spooky2.com downloads web page straight into your downloads folder. You now have a number of choices. You can copy and paste it into the Spooky2 folder as detailed above, then trash the file. You can create a new dated folder for the file, then move that folder anywhere you like. Here, I've downloaded my new database, created a new folder named FREQS March 14, 2014, put the file inside it, then place the new folder in my documents library. To load it into Spooky2, I click the database menu, then choose Select Database. This opens a file navigation dialog, left, where I can navigate to my new file, select it, then click the Open button to make it immediately available in Spooky2. The Refresh Database command reloads the file after manual edits. Select Database File, J backslash, Libraries, Documents, FREQS March 14, 2014, Organize, New Folder, Favorites K Desktop Pound Downloads, Recent Places, J Documents, my Documents FREQS March 14, 2014 Public Documents Music LLTEL Pictures B Videos, File Name, Documents Library, FREQS March 14, 2014, Name, Frequencies, 1 equals, EB, Arrange by, Folder W, Date Modifier Type, March 23, 2014 21 13 Microsoft X, Database, CSV, Open Cancel, Back to Contents, 44, Windows Warnings, there are two very important settings in Windows that you need to be aware of when using Spooky2, PC Sleep Settings, if your computer is set to sleep or hibernate after a certain amount of time with no user activity, here's what happens, the contents of your memory are temporarily written to a file on the hard drive. The drive then stops spinning, this means that nothing more can be read from it into memory. So when your PC sleeps or hibernates, it is effectively no longer working, much like a TV on standby. Consequently, Spooky2 will simply suspend transmission until you wake your PC again. To fix this, go to Control Panel's Power Options Change when the computer sleeps, and set everything except the screen to never. Alternatively, you can use a dark screen saver to extend display life, Control Panel's Personalization Screen Saver. Windows Update Reboots If your PC is also used for the Internet, be aware that default system settings mean that Windows can download and install updates automatically. It can then quit Spooky2, install the updates, and restart your PC, 
ending your entire Spooky 2 session unbeknownst to you. To fix this, go to Control Panel's Windows Update Change Settings and choose anything other than Install Updates Automatically. If you don't want to lose this auto-install functionality, you can simply switch off your modem Wi-Fi router before going to sleep or leaving your home. But do remember to keep an eye on things while you're at home but away from the computer. If you don't use a Wi-Fi system, your computer is connected to the Internet with an Ethernet cable plugged into a modem or switcher. If you unplug this cable, Windows can't go looking for updates, so your Spooky 2 session can't be interrupted. Back to Contents, 45. Testing and configuration, now that you've got your rig connected, and your software installed and able to talk to your generator, S, it's time to configure the remote system to work optimally, and to make sure everything is actually doing what it's supposed to do. Here's how, Spooky Boost Plus Remote MNBN, to optimize your Spooky Boost cable for use with Spooky Remote VL.1, BN or MN, set all the parameters as shown on the left. Duty cycle must be 100%. Square wave must be selected. Inverse plus sync must be selected. Now search for and load the signal test frequency set. In older databases, this set is named Calibrate. Important, anytime you set either the duty cycle to 100%, or very close to it, or you enter an offset of 100%, only one remote LED will be lit. This is normal for these settings. When you've completed this step, reset the duty cycle TO 50%. Never use a 100% duty cycle for treatment you may burn your skin severely. Program Options, Frequency Multiplier 1, Repeat Every Freq 1, Repeat Each Set 1, Repeat Program 0, Dwell Multiplier 1, Amplitude Wobble Disabled, Frequency Wobble Disabled, a reduce amplitude 10 kHz, F33 Hz gate F randomized, I skip concurrent duplicate freq remove duplicate frequencies override pause schedule prevent global start, out to frequency limits, duty side L100 J1 100% Hz apply, amplitude VS slash 20 V greater than 0 C octal, offset 00% 0 scalar, phase angle 00, apply. 0% 16 steps frequencies directly? F2 equals F1x, R, Hertz, add Fi to F2, 3%, 16 steps, do not sort frequencies, out 2 control, out 2 equals, out 1 out 2 equals, out 1 copy gate, X, X, volts, stop when out 1 stops, spike, Hertz, spectrum, X, length ratio, percent 1, BXBY, Follow out all spike plus sync inverse plus sync, W, plus spike, 17, spike, count 0, back to contents, 46, when the channel is started, only one LED will be lit. MN remote, the, top, plus sign, LED should be lit, circled in red. BN remote, the, bottom, sign, LED should be lit, circled in yellow. If you own an earlier non-color-coded Spooky Boost, simply swap the plugs connected to OUT1 and OUT2 if the wrong LED is lit for your specific remote. Your Spooky Boost is now set up for whichever version of Spooky Remote VLL you own. This procedure is only necessary to set up magnet-enhanced Spooky Remote VLL models correctly because of their different magnetic polarities. It's not required for the original Spooky Remote or for Spooky Tube electrodes. No light? Check the generator display for the blue ON icon. If you see a red off icon, quit Spooky2 and turn off your 5M receipt USB connections, then turn on the 5M and launch Spooky2 again. If you still see off, swap the USB cable for a known good one. If you do see the ON icon, reseat your BNC connector securely. Back to contents 47, original remote and direct connect. If you use an original remote with Spooky Boost, connect them. If you don't use Boost, connect your remote to OUT1. Set all the parameters as shown, duty side amplitude offset phase angle, program options, frequency multiplier 1, repeat every freq 1, repeat each set 1, repeat program 0, dwell multiplier 1, amplitude wobble. 
disabled frequency wobble DSAB ed, I reduce amplitude 10 kHz, J33 Hz gate randomized, I skip concurrent duplicate frec F remove duplicate frequencies are override pause schedule I prevent global start, out 1 copyright, F2 equals FI, R, Hertz, add FI to F2, percent, percent, out to 50 20, 0, 0, 16, 16, percent, B, percent, O, frequency limits, 1 2, C, B, C C, R, 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 C R, 0, J C, out 2 control out 2 equals, out 1 out 2 equals, out 1 17 copy gate, waveform, X, X, 17, Hertz apply, octal C scalar, apply, steps frequencies directly, steps J do not sort frequencies D, 1, plus 0 Hertz, 1, volts, stop when out 1 stops, Spike spectrum, JBXBY, follow out all spike plus sync inverse plus sync, 7, X length ratio percent, 1020, 1020, 1020, 1020, 17 plus Spike count 00. zero. Duty cycle should be 50%. Amplitude should be 20. Square wave must be selected. Follow out 1 must be selected. Now search for and load the signal test frequency set. In older databases, this set may be named Calibrate. When the channel is started, both LEDs should be lit. If so, your spooky remote is now ready for action. No light? Check the generator display for the blue ON icon. If you see a red off icon, quit Spooky2 and turn off your XM. Reseat USB connections, then turn on the XM and launch Spooky2 again. If the generator still shows off, try swapping the USB cable for a known good one. If you do see the ON icon, reseat your BNC connector securely. Back to contents, 48, treatment choices. Before you use Spooky2 to tackle any problem, you have a number of very important things to consider first. 1. Killing or healing. This will affect your choice of waveform, its settings, amplitude, and wobbles. Generally, killing pathogens requires a wobble or feathering to cover possible mutations. But a much better alternative is to use a well-designed spectrum. Contact mode needs higher amplitudes to achieve adequate body penetration, 14 to 20 volts, unless a carry wave is used, use a higher harmonic multiplier on out 2 rather than a static carrier, I'll show you how later. Remote mode can use any amplitude from about 4 volts up to 20. High voltages are not necessary because all we need to penetrate is the fingernail clipping in spooky remote, not the entire body. For killing, a spooky remote V1.1 magnetic north is best but we don't recommend using it non-stop for longer than 3 to 5 days because it can produce unpleasant side effects. A spooky remote V1.1 Bio North model will kill pathogens too, but not quite as quickly, and it's best for healing, repair, and regeneration. This can be used continuously without problems. For plasma mode, please see the documentation that came with your spooky plasma or other amplifier. 2. Which waveform? Sine, the non-linear curve of the sine wave's amplitude makes it suitable for gentle healing. Its trajectory is the purest form of energy motion, and you will see its shape commonly reflected throughout the natural world. Best for high frequencies. Square, the abrupt rises and falls in amplitude coupled with long peaks and troughs make this wave very suitable for killing pathogens. However, it's also effective for healing, especially if low frequencies are used. Sawtooth, this does not have a history in Rife, so it's still largely experimental. However, our experiments have now shown that it's a very effective waveform to use for healing. Back to contents, 49, inverse sawtooth, the sharp rise to peak level combined with the linear fall in amplitude make this waveform excellent for killing organisms, and it does this more effectively than the square wave. At higher voltages, it's not really suitable for healing, 
but some users have reported good results using it at lower amplitudes. Triangle does not have a history in RIFE, so it's still experimental. Its linear slopes make for a less efficient whip crack effect but it may be useful as a possible substitute for a sign. Damped sinusoidal, Dr. Rife's well-known cancer killer waveform, as documented by the Smithsonian. When liberally sprinkled with spikes, this becomes a truly fearsome weapon. But because it's based on gradually decaying sine waves, it's also excellent for healing applications. Damped square, damping applied to square waves, a brand new spooky to exclusive. Its energy trajectory makes it lethal for pathogens, and it's currently being tested successfully in healing situations. H-bomb sinusoidal, designed by John to feature energy spikes on leading and trailing edges. It's based on sine waves, and this should make it a good choice for powerful healing. But it should also be useful as a pathogen killer. H-bomb square, I feel that this may be Spooky 2's most powerful killing machine. John has questioned if it may be too powerful for remote use, but I've used it successfully in this way without hooking. 3. Database sets, pulse results, or spectrum sweeps. For killing, the spectrum sweeps are convenient and very powerful. It's best to adjunct or alternate with targeted database sets. Most powerful of all, but not as convenient, are spooky pulse scan results. Spooky pulse has now clearly shown itself capable of detecting early cancer. The effectiveness or otherwise of database sets also depends on the accuracy of your diagnosis. It's possible too, that a different strain or a mutation of the pathogen is involved. Either way, if you get no results after two to three days, you should try another database set instead. Back to contents, 50, for healing, I would use either pulse results or targeted database sets. The spectrum sweeps are designed for killing. Most healing works through frequency entrainment, and sweeps don't work for this process. Important, the Spooky2 database includes about 300 split frequency sets. These are sets which originally contained too many frequencies for them to be fully effective when used in remote mode. So we made the decision to split them into parts, each of which takes no more than an hour to transmit. To use them, you must load them into a program in the correct order, and this program should not contain any other sets, otherwise the split set may not work properly. All split sets have a numerical identifier at the end of their names that looks like a numerical fraction, lymphs and detox one half lymphs and detox two halves, the one half in the name above means that lymphs and detox one half is part one of a two part set, and lymphs and detox two halves is the second part, which MUST also be loaded and run for the program to work. Long set names may have these numbers hidden in the conditions list. Select any set to show its full name in the additional notes area beneath the list. Warning: You must never run the parts of any split set on separate generators. All split set parts MUST be loaded and run in the correct order on one single generator. Many frequency sets are designed to disrupt organism components in a specific order, and if you run their frequencies out of that order, the program may not work. 4. What source of DNA for remote? Nails, the DNA contained in fingernails is encased in hard keratin which protects it from degradation. In theory, it should be good to use for scalar transmission forever, and indeed some practitioners never change their specimens. However, my research, back to contents, 51, suggests that since photonic energy has been shown to be intimately bound up with DNA, nail specimens may be best renewed each month. Russian experiments show that the photonic energy imprint, which shadows DNA fades after this time. If you choose to change your samples regularly, you may wish to substitute lightweight cigarette rolling papers for paper masking tape. Nail Sample Preparation 1. First, cut your nail into four equal pieces, as shown. You only need to use one piece of nail for each remote. 2. The correct length of two inches paper tape, sticky side up. Bottom left is a single piece of nail. The red mark shows where to place it. 3. Fold tape over lengthwise. Write initials on one end if required. 
place as shown and mark the tape at the edge of the remote. 4. Insert tape in the remote so the mark lines with the remote's edge as shown. This ensures DNA is correctly placed. Back to contents, 52, saliva, cut a strip of blank paper, blotting paper is best, about 2 inches long and 1 inch wide. Place the top one third of this in your mouth for about 5 minutes, or until it becomes saturated with saliva. Allow it to air dry for about 10 to 20 minutes before placing it into your remote. Good for about 3 days. Buckle skin cells, this is how police do large scale DNA testing after certain serious crimes. As above, use a strip of paper, but don't allow it to soak in your mouth. Instead, rub the top one third gently but firmly against the inside of your cheek for a moment. If it becomes wet, allow it to air dry as above. Good for about four to five days. Blood, for this you need a pack of lancets designed for diabetics to safely test blood sugar levels. These are inexpensive and available from all pharmacies. Wash your hands thoroughly first, then follow the directions on the pack. Smear the droplet of blood on the top one third of a strip of paper. Allow to air dry for a few moments. Good for about five to six days. Hair, the shaft contains no DNA, only RNA. So it must have the root bulb attached. Good for about two days. 5. Remote, contact, or plasma? Plasma, well designed and implemented plasma is quickest and most powerful. The best we have today comes from Ralph Hartwell in the form of the PA3 amplifier used with a plasma tube blown by Bill Chebb. Contact, used with a carrier wave, this comes next for speed and power. Remote, scalar DNA treatment has been vastly improved by the introduction of spooky remote V1.1, such that it has gained markedly on contact mode. The convenience of remote mode makes it a winner. For serious conditions, I would do one contact session daily, then switch that generator to remote mode. The following three screenshots are good settings for each of the three modes, remote, contact, and plasma. In all cases except plasma, which requires a square wave for everything you do, you should choose your own waveform based on whether you're killing organisms, healing, or detoxing. Back to contents, 53, program options, frequency multiplier repeat every freq repeat each set repeat program dwell multiplier, amplitude wobble, frequency wobble, 1-1 one one duty side amplitude out 150-20 out 250-20% B frequency limits hertz apply greater than 0, octal, offset 00% zero, 0, percent, zero C scalar, U.33 phase angle 000, zero, zero, apply, disabled, 0% 16 steps plus minus 0.02% feathering, disabled, I reduce amplitude 10 kHz, R33 hertz gate F randomized, 17 skip concurrent duplicate freq f remove duplicate frequencies override pause schedule prevent global start f2 equals f1 hertz percent 16 steps 1 c f r r c c r c slash c c out 2 control out 2 equals out 1 out 2 equals out 1 7 copy gate waveform x x 17, C, R, R, I add F I to F2, do not sort frequencies, 1, plus 0, 1, volts, stop when out 1 stop spike, R, R X P length ratio, L J W W W, B X B Y R, B X B Y Z I, 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 E, E, 16, 16, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, hertz, spectrum, percent, 0, 0, follow out all spike plus sync inverse plus sync, 17, 17 plus spike, 17, spike, count 0, remote mode settings, repeat each set, 4, repeat program, 0, for an endless loop that must be stopped manually, OR, repeat program, 30, for a timed session equivalent to seven consecutive contact treatments. Dwell multiplier, 0.33, cuts program times to one-third, original remotes must use one, 
which John White always uses on all remote models. Duty cycle, 50, may be changed to alter the harmonic content, relevant disco wave only. Amplitude, 5 to 20 volts. Offset, 0 and 0, can also be 100 and 100, or 100 and minus 100 if spooky boost is connected. Appley, plus minus 0.02% feathering for kill, or frequencies directly for heal and detox. Waveform, user's choice. How remote works. Back to contents, 54, program options, frequency multiplier repeat every freq repeat each set repeat program dwell multiplier, amplitude wobble, frequency wobble, duty side amplitude offset phase angle, disabled, disabled, 7 reduce amplitude 10 kHz, F33 Hz gate F randomized, I skip concurrent duplicate freq I remove duplicate frequencies override pause schedule I prevent global start, F2 equals F1, Hz, 1, C, 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 out 1, 50, 20, 0, 0, 0, 0, percent, percent, out 2 frequency limits, 50% Hz apply, 20 V greater than 0, octal, 0%, 0, percent, 0 C scalar, 0, 0, apply, 16 steps freaking is directly, out 2 control, out 2 equals, out 1 out 2 equals, out 1. 7 copy gate, waveform, C, R, C, R, I add F I to F2, 16 steps Q O H J Q J saw frequencies, 3, X1, plus 0, X1, volts, 7 stop and out 1 stop spike, R, R X a length ratio, Hertz, B X B Y R, B X B Y J, I, 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 E E 16 16 1 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, spectrum, percent, 0, 0, follow out all spike plus sync inverse plus sync, 17, 17 plus spike, 17, spike, count 0, contact mode settings, repeat each set, 1, repeat program, 1, dwell multiplier, 1, programs run for default dwells times, duty cycle, 50, may be higher to create more harmonics, relevant disco wave only, amplitude, 14 to 20 volts, offset, 0 and 0, can also be 100 and 100, or 100 and minus 100 if spooky boost is connected, apply, frequencies directly for kill, heal, and detox, Reduce amplitude LOKHZ, checked, prevents low frequencies from causing discomfort. Waveform, user's choice. Note, high amplitude low frequencies can cause unpleasant and even painful muscle contraction. The threshold at which this occurs is different for all of us, mine is about LKHZ. Try values lower than LOKHZ to find your own. How contact works. Back to contents. 55, program options, frequency multiplier 1, repeat every freq 1, repeat each set 1, repeat program 1, dwell multiplier 1, amplitude wobble disabled, frequency wobble jage disabled, I reduce amplitude 10 kHz, R33 Hz gate F randomized, I skip concurrent duplicate freq I remove duplicate frequencies override pause schedule I prevent global start, duty side amplitude offset phase angle, F2 equals F1, Hertz, out 150-10 out 250-10% V frequency limits Hertz apply greater than 3,300,000 G octal, 100-0-100-0%. 0-100,000 C scalar, apply, 0% 16 steps frequencies directly, 0% 16 steps do not sort frequencies, out 2 control, out 2 equals, out 1 X1 plus 0 hertz, out 2 equals, out 1 x 1, volts, 1 2, c, a, r c, r r, r, c r, c f, c r, c, copy gate waveform, i add f i to f 2, c, c, v stop when out 1 stop spike, r, r x a length ratio, e l, r j, b x b y, b x b y, Follow out all spike plus sync inverse plus sync, 
3 r 1 1 1 1 1 11 11 16 16 1 1 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 spectrum percent 0 0 r v plus spike 17 spike count 0 plasma mode settings frequency limits high 3.3 megahertz low low okhz for spooky plasma repeat each set 1 repeat program 1 dwell multiplier 1 programs run for default dwells times duty cycle 50 may be higher to create more harmonics relevant disco wave only amplitude 10 volts offset 100 and 100 apply frequencies directly for kill heal and detox waveform square wave only note spooky boost is not used for plasma mode how plasma works back to contents 56 okay let's rife if you've never used rife technology before I'm willing to bet that your reaction on first seeing this interface was sheer panic that's entirely understandable at first sight Spooky 2 looks so overwhelmingly complex that you naturally think, how the heck am I ever going to learn this? But I'm also willing to bet that your first reaction on getting into a car to take your first driving lesson was also panic, and that the exact same thought went through your head. Well, just like a car, you don't need to use everything that's on display in order to actually drive it, do you? Spooky 2 is no different. Over the next few pages, I'm going to show you how to use it quickly and easily, and in less than 15 minutes, you're going to be loading and running programs easily and quickly. The best way to learn something is by doing it. So please follow along over the next few pages and I'll show you how easy it can be. Program Options Frequency Multiplier Repeat Every Freck Repeat Each Set Repeat Program Dwell Multiplier Amplitude Wobble Frequency Wobble I Reduce Amplitude 10 kHz R33 Hz Gate F Randomized P Skip Concurrent Duplicate Freck R Remove Duplicate Frequencies Override Pause Schedule Prevent Global Start 111 Duty Side Amplitude Offset Out 155 0 Out 255 0% V% Frequency Limits Hertz Apply Greater Than 0 Octal 0 C Scalar 1 Phase Angle 0 0 Apple E Disable JD 0% 16 Steps Frequencies Directly J Disabled 30% 16 steps do not sort frequencies. F2 equals FI, Hertz, out 2 control out 2 equals, out 1 out 2 equals, out 1 a copy gate, X, X, 1, plus 0, 1, volts, stop when out 1 stops, Hertz, 1 2, R, A R, R, C R, R C, R, R C, R, C C, C, I add FI to F2. R, A, R, R, Waveform Z, R, 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 Backslash, 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 R, 1 to 4 R, Spike, X Length Ratio, B, X, B, Y, B, X, B, Y, Follow Out All Spike Plus Sync Inverse, Plus Sync, I, 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 N, E, 16, 16, 1, 1, 17, 17, 17 count, Two 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 plus spike spike spectrum T percent I O zero back to contents fifty seven with spooky two we use what we need and ignore everything else. Eventually, over time, you'll get comfortable and confident, and you'll want to get the most out of this fabulous system. When that happens, use this guide to learn what everything does and how it can be used for maximum benefit. It's not going to be a walk in the park, but it's certainly not climbing Mount Everest either. I'll bet you're a pretty good driver now, aren't you? Believe in yourself, keep at it, and soon you'll be a pretty good rifer too. So let's get going with something simple like a cold. Please note that I've removed excess blank space from this screenshot and later similar ones in order to make all the elements big enough to be clearly seen. Search FCOD, clear. February 28, 2015, 2029 and 40 seconds, cold common cold coughing cold feet and hand a cold and head or J3T1, 
Cold or Flu Winter 2001 Cold Sores 2 Cold Sores 3 Program Options Frequency Multiplier Repeat Every Freck Repeat Each Set Repeat Program Dwell Multiplier Amplitude Wobble J Disabled 1 1 4 1 Point three three XT two A one hundred twenty SSO three hundred fifty seventy five hundred one hundred twenty thousand three hundred fifteen thousand five hundred four hundred seventy two thousand five hundred seventy two S seven fifty three hundred fifty thousand nine hundred seventy five thousand nine hundred eighty CAFL seven hundred twenty seven ten thousand CAFL twenty thousand one hundred twenty five fourteen C Two hundred billion seven hundred twenty seven million seven hundred eighty seven thousand eight hundred eighty five thousand CAFL two oh four 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 seven two seven 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 six seven eight seven eight eight oh fifteen fifty five thousand ten thousand CAFL nine hundred fifty nine thousand nine hundred sixty two XTSA forty two eight trillion four hundred sixty five billion seven hundred twenty seven million seven hundred eighty seven thousand eight hundred eighty 1500, 1550, 1800, 1850, 2489 XTPA 470, 47 euros, 48 euros, 50 euros, 52 euros, 54 euros, 5 euros euro, 58 euros, euro 0 euros, 847, 5 euro 41, 8 euro 5 Q, out 1 out 2 frequency limits. Duty side 50 50% Hertz apply, amplitude 2020 V greater than 0, octal, offset 00% 0, 0 64000 C scalar, base angle 000, 0, 0 spook, a 1, am. Cold in head or chest 2, 0, 0% 0, 16 steps frequencies directly, apply. First, I must select the channel I want to load by clicking its red button, then simply closing its red control panel again. Next, I type cold into the search field. Spooky2 returns 42 results. In the red circle, 42 is the second number shown. I select the one I want to run. This is result number 22 in the red circle, 22 is the first number shown. So here, I've selected result 22 out of a possible 42. Back to contents 58, I double click it and it loads into the selection field on the lower right. However, since I'm going to be killing pathogens, I need to run a detox set as well. It's always better to keep killing sets on one channel and put detox on another, but in this case we'll suppose I only have a single generator. So I type detox into the search field, there's no need to click the clear button first, and I get a bunch of results, from which I choose detox for toxins throughout the body CAFL, and I double click this also. Both sets are now loaded into my program and can be seen in the selection field. If I change my mind about one of them, I just double click it here to remove it, or I can clear both selections I made by clicking the button, circled in red. Channel 10, user data, email message, cold in head or chest 2, CAFL, detox for toxins throughout the body, CAFL, notes, Program patient name email, S, plus J, V allow channel overwrites. Every time, H enable emails, total run time 149 and 49 seconds send email save as, now it's time to make settings that will work to kill pathogens, and clear out toxins. Any of the square waves are good for both of these tasks, but I want to use a 100% positive offset as recommended by Dr. Huda back to contents 59, Clark, so I'll stick with her classic settings of a plain square wave and an amplitude of 9.5 volts. However, I could also choose a H-bomb square or a damped square if I desired. Below are all the settings I enter in the green program options pane, I lead an active life, and I don't want to let treatment of a cold interfere with that so I'll use remote mode. First, I enter 64,000 in the field of the frequency limits pane to bring all these low subharmonics up to more effective levels. I enter 4 for repeat each set, 0 for repeat program, and 0.33 for dwell multiplier, but note that John White uses 1 for this. Remote also normally calls for an apply menu setting of plus minus 0.02% feathering, 
but because I'm also running detox frequencies which need apply to be set to frequencies directly, I've set it to use that instead. I also have a spooky boost connected, so I select inverse plus sync for added power. If I didn't slash have this cable, I would connect the remote to out one of the generator and select follow out one here instead. Now all my settings are entered and I'm ready for action. But because I'm changing the state of my currently blank channel, there's one more box to check, program options, frequency multiplier 1, repeat every frec 1, repeat each set 4, repeat program 0, dwell multiplier 0.33. Amplitude wobble J disabled frequency wobble J DLS AB ed, I reduce amplitude 10 kHz, Y33 Hz gate T randomized, 7 skip concurrent duplicate frec I remove duplicate frequencies or override pause schedule I prevent global start, duty side amplitude offset phase angle, F2 equals F1 X1, R, add FI to F2, Hz, H, out 1 out 2. Frequency limits. 50-50% Hz apply, 9.5-9.5 V greater than 0 octal, 100-100% 64,000 C scalar, 0 0 0, apply, 0% 16 steps Frequenies directly, 0% 16 steps do not sort Frequenies JD, 1, C, 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 R, 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 out 2 control, out 2 equals, out 1 out 2 equals, out 1 17 copy gate, x, x, 2, r, c, r, 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 c, 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 waveform, 1, plus 0 hertz, 1, volts, stop when out 1, stop spike, rx, p length ratio, spectrum, percent, i, 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 e, u, 16, 16, BXBY11020, BXBYJ11020, follow out all. 7 plus spike, spike T sync 717, spike, inverse plus sync count 0, back to contents, 60, IV allow channel overwrites V every image and its allow channel overwrites, to the left of the selection field. Anytime, why cuss I change a channel settings? or its frequency sets, you must tick this box before clicking the red channel button so you can start the program. If you don't, the channel control panel will replace all your work with its last saved settings, which will clear everything you've done. So don't forget to tick this box when you've built your program. When you do, the every time checkbox will appear. Tick this if you wish to always overwrite. Now you can click the channel button, channel control 3, Reverse lookup R, do doctor, total runtime treatment duration, 149 and 49 seconds, 0 o'clock, IT, 333, 444, 727, 766, 776, 787, 802, 880, 1550, 4412, 7344, 10,000, 11, 0 Frequenies, 188, cold in head or chest 2, CAFL, detox for toxins throughout the body, CAFL, output, frequency waveform duty side amplitude offset, phase angle, out 1O square wave 50%, of, 0%, 0 degrees, out 2 0, inverse plus sync, 50%, of, 0%, 0 degrees, the red channel control appears, above. And you're ready to rumble. So click the start button and get on with your day. Back to contents 61, but hold on. Suppose I realize I made a mistake and I want to change a setting or frequency set. How can I do that at this stage? I VJ at the top right of the channel control panel, you'll see three buttons. The rightmost one with the X closes, the panel, as you'd expect. However, if you use this to close, you won't be able to change anything, it simply, closes the panel and locks the channel so it can't be changed. Its purpose is to allow you to close a channel and move on to set up the next one. So, to fix my mistake, I must click the settings button instead, with the curvy wave image. This also closes the panel, 
but it unlocks the channel so I can change anything I wish. However, when I've done, I must once again tick the Allow Channel Overwrites box before I click the colored button again to reopen the control panel, otherwise the channel will discard my correction. The leftmost button goes even further, it unlocks the channel and clears the program I've built so I can start over again. However, it leaves my carefully thought out settings intact. Nice. Now here's a different case, let's say I want to treat for Epstein-Barr virus. So, again, I first open and close the channel I want to use, type Epstein into the search field, and I get 34 results. The set I want to use is Epstein-Barr virus 1XTRA, and I can see that it has three numbered parts, it's a split set. 1N Search Epstein I clear February 28, 2015 2033 OCJ, EBV secondary EBV XT2 ACAFL 4 Euro 57277447786787880, euros. 63,667,667,738,825 euros, 1013,1920,6618,8768, EBV Vega 660,663,669,1,000,000, 1,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000
program patient name, user data, via loud channel overwrites email message, backslash slash every time, notes, email, s, enable emails, Epstein bar virus 11 slash 3, XTRA, Epstein bar virus 1 and 2 thirds, XTRA, Epstein bar virus 1 and 3 thirds, XTRA, total runtime 316 and 40 seconds sent man, I've also ensured that the allow Chanel overwrites box is ticked so I don't forget to do it after I've made my settings. Unless you also tick every time, you will have to tick this box immediately after loading all your sets, and this is a good habit to get into because you can get caught up in making settings and forget to do it before you try running the program. Well, I do anyway. The total runtime of your program, taking into account all repeats, is shown beneath the selection field, circled in red above. However, because entering zero into the repeat program field tells Spooky2 to loop the program until I manually stop it, what you see here is the total time the program would take to run through just once. Back to contents, 63, now for our settings. We're killing pathogens here, and we have detox either running on another channel, or we'll load a detox program with appropriate settings and waveform after this one has finished. So we can choose settings that kill exclusively, once again, I'm using remote mode for convenience, and I've loaded all its recommended settings, 4 for repeat each set, 0 for repeat program, and 0.33 for dwell multiplier. I want all the power I can get for this virus, so I'm using one of John White's favorite kill settings here, a better one is shown later. I also want to raise all the frequencies up into the KHZ range to be closer to the original fundamentals, so I enter 64,000 in the field of the frequency limits pane. Now is a good time to explain that each waveform in the list has its own row of controls. Those for the square wave we're using for these settings are shown in the red box. So all my settings are now entered, and I've remembered to tick the allow channel overwrites box, so I click the chosen channels button again. Program Options, Frequency Multiplier 1, Repeat Every Freq 1, Repeat Each Set 4, Repeat Program 0, Dwell Multiplier 0.33, Amplitude Wobble Disabled Frequency Wobble DJSAB Ed, I Reduce Amplitude 10 kHz, 33 Hz Gate Randomized, 17 Skip Concurrent Duplicate Freq I Remove Duplicate Frequencies Override Pause Schedule F Prevent Global Start, Duty Side Amplitude Offset Phase Angle, MLNNNNJLLLL1 slash IMFJ, ILJLIM, F2 equals FI, 11, Hertz, R, R, C, R, C, out 1 out 2, 50 50 percent, 20 20 V, 0 0 percent, 0 0 0, 0 percent 16 steps, 0 percent 16 steps, out 2 control, out 2 equals, out 1 X, out 2 equals, out 1x, 7 copy gate, 7, frequency limits, 0, 64,000, hertz apply, octal C scalar, C, 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 R, C, LKMA MIM I, HT, BXBY, and I add FI to F2, BXBY, follow out all spike plus sync inverse plus sync, apply, frequencies directly, do not sort frequencies J, 1, plus 0 Hz, 1, volts, stop when out 1 stops, spike spectrum, x, length ratio percent, a 1020, 3520, a 1020, 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 Count 1, back to contents, 64, channel control 3, start, pause, hold, stop, reverse lookup in dude octal, total runtime treatment duration, 3 16 and 40 seconds, 0 o'clock, J, frequencies, 1, 176, Epstein bar virus 1 and 1 third, XTRA, Epstein bar virus 12 slash 3, XTRA, Epstein bar virus 1 and 3 thirds, XTRA, output, frequency waveform duty side amplitude offset phase angle, out 1 o square wave 50% of, 
0 percent, 0 degrees, out to 0, inverse plus sink, 50 percent, of, 0 percent, 0 degrees, and here's my loaded channel. Control panel, waiting for me to click the start button. Next, we'll take a look at building a complex healing program. Specifically, I want to normalize and stimulate a whole bunch of organs and systems in one go, normalize adrenal gland function, blood pressure and circulation, endocrine glandular system, and lymphatic system. I also want to stimulate and normalize my kidney and liver functions, plus a couple of others thrown in for good measure. The important thing here is that I can use the same waveform to optimize all these tasks. If I added in some pathogen killing sets, I'd be more limited in my choices for settings and waveforms because what I do must work for both these different jobs. Back to contents, 65, to get started, I type normal into the search box, search I normal, clear, February 28, 2015 2035 and 6 seconds, actinomyces Israeli, bio, adrenal function normalize XTRA 1335. Bacterium coli bio, Bacterium coli CAFL, Barrett's esophagus 1 XTRA, Blood circulation stimulat XTRA, Blood pressure normalize XTRA, Brain normalize XTRA, 642, 642,358,539, 2014-667677767870278802. 2127.5 equals 360, 10,000, 337, 15, 17,578.13, program options, frequency multiplier repeat every freq repeat each set repeat program dwell multiplier, amplitude wobble, 1, 1, 4, 1, 0.33, duty side out 150 out 250 percent frequency limits hertz apply. Amplitude 2020 V greater than 0 octal, offset 00 percent 0 C scalar, phase angle 000, disabled, Apoly, 16 steps frequencies directly, Spocky adrenal function normalize, sire, 2 slash, 56, LV, spooky 2 returns 56 results for my search, and adrenal function normalize XTRA is second in the list. Please note that US spelling is used throughout the database, so it's normalize instead of normalize, and hemorrhage, and edema instead of hemorrhage, and oedema. By double clicking each one, I then add blood pressure and normalize XTRA, circulation stimulate normalized XTRA, endocrine system function normalize XTRA, glands general normalize XTRA, kidney function normalize stimulate XTRA. Liver function stimulate and normalize XTRA, lymph function stimulate normal XTRA, plus a few others I think I might need. Here, I need to point out something that's important when searching, if I had typed normalize into the search box instead of normal, my results wouldn't have included lymph function stimulate normal XTRA. So it pays to give some thought to what you type in order to search. In general, Partial words often work better than complete one stimulat will find stimulate, stimulatory, and stimulation. Back to contents, 66, so now here's my selection field, stuffed to the roof with sets, as you can tell by the appearance of a scroll bar, channel 10, program patient name, user data, via allow channel overwrites email message. Every time, notes, email, s, are enable emails, Adrenal function normalize, XTRA, blood pressure normalize, XTRA, circulation stimulate normalized, XTRA, endocrine system function normalize, XTRA, glands general normalize, XTRA, kidney function normalize stimulate, XTRA, liver function stimulate and normalize, XTRA, lymph function stimulate normal QCTRA. Total runtime 004 send email save as, but I've loaded so many sets that I've lost count. Not to worry, Spooky2 tells me that I have 11 sets loaded into this channel, the set count is circled at the bottom right of the selection field. Note that the program runtime is still short even through there are 11 sets, it's 43 minutes and 33 seconds, to be precise. 
This is an indication that all the sets I've loaded are very short, with each containing just one or two frequencies. It's perfectly fine to stuff your programs like this with very short sets, but it would be a big mistake to load, say, 10 sets each with an individual runtime of 60 minutes. Why? Because in remote mode, each repeated frequency sets needs to be reasonably close in time to the last one, otherwise you're giving pathogens a chance to recover and or mutate. If you loaded 10 one-hour sets, this would mean a break of 9 hours between each set repetition. Not good. So please don't do it. Aim for a maximum program run time of about 3 to 4 hours or less. With Spooky 2, more is not always better. Back to contents, 67, so now I have the sets for my super program for healing loaded, I need to enter the settings I want, originally, Dr. Royal Raymond Reif worked with equipment capable of transmitting very high radio frequencies. But then the FCC came along and regulated the wave bands. Although he found another way, his original waveform for killing was the sine wave. At very high frequencies, this wave can be extremely effective. The vast majority of commercial Rife machines today can only transmit up to 100,000 Hz, and some only to 10,000 Hz. But Spooky2 can transmit up to 25 MHz using its unique wave cycle multiplication technology. So even though my frequencies are all quite low, I've chosen the waveform Dr. Rife used to cure cancer, the damp sinusoidal. All the sine-based waves are good for healing, especially this one. But note that square and plain sawtooth waves can also be used, and are actually better for low frequencies. 68. Program Options Frequency Multiplier Repeat Every Freq Repeat Each Set Repeat Program Dwell Multiplier Amplitude Wobble Frequency Wobble 1, 1, 4, 0, 0.33 Duty Side Amplitude Offset Phase Angle Disabled, Disabled A Reduce Amplitude 10 kHz F33 Hz gate I randomized, 17 skip concurrent duplicate freq, remove duplicate freq enies v override pause schedule j prevent global start, F2 equals F1x, I add Fi to F2, Hz, out 1 out 2 frequency limits, 50 50% Hz apply, 20 20 V greater than 0 octal, 0 0% 0, 0 C scalar, 0 0 0, apply. Degree percent 16 steps frequencies directly, degree percent 16 steps do not sort frequencies JD, out 2 control, out 2 equals, out 1 out 2 equals, out 1 17 copy gate, waveform, X, X, R, R, C, 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 1, plus 0 hertz, 1, volts, stop when out 1 stop spike, PXR length ratio.